Hurricane Helene continues to intensify ahead of making landfall in the state of Florida. Officials expecting the storm to bring catastrophic winds and storm surge to the northeastern Gulf Coast. Joining us live this morning with an update on the very latest of the system is Michael Brennan, National Hurricane Center Director. Michael, it's a special treat to have you join us live. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks. Great to be with you, Jane. So, Michael, I know this uh, system is developing every few minutes upon the hour. What's the latest you can share with us? Well, Helene's, uh, you know, just a powerful hurricane, not just in terms of the peak winds, which are right now around 90 miles per hour, but it's an expansive hurricane. The tropical storm force winds extend out over 300 miles away from the center. We're already seeing rain bands move inland across Florida. We've had heavy rainfall out in advance of Helene across much of the southeastern United States up into the southern Appalachians. We're very concerned about multiple life-threatening hazards. That storm surge risk, you know, the catastrophic life-threatening storm surge that we're expecting here along the Big Bend coast of Florida, everywhere you see here in purple in this area from Carabelle down to Suwannee River. Somewhere in there, we're expecting to see 15 to 20 feet of inundation above ground level with destructive wave action on top of that. So if you've been asked to evacuate in this region in particular, please do so. You still have time to get out, but conditions are going to deteriorate quickly today. We're going to have rain bands. Those tropical storm force winds are going to start to move on shore. We're going to see the center of Helene make landfall uh, sometime this evening, somewhere in this vicinity. And then we're going to see widespread wind impacts with hurricane warnings extending all the way across much of northern Florida, the Panhandle, and up into southern and even central Georgia, because Helene's going to be moving so quickly, 25 miles per hour, it's not going to have time to weaken very much after landfall. And those hurricane force winds with the potential for power outages, tree damage, and especially right along the coast, destructive winds uh, that could cause you know, a, you know, total building failure, roofs being torn off right where landfall occurs, is going to cover a large area. And you can see tropical storm warnings everywhere in blue for almost the rest of the state of Florida much of Georgia, all of South Carolina, portions of Western North Carolina. And then we're going to get into the heavy rainfall threat, which is really going to result in a multi-day rainfall, two-day rainfall event. And we're very concerned about the potential for flash flooding, uh, life-threatening flash flooding here in the Florida Panhandle, Southwest Georgia, Southeast Alabama, near where the center of Helene makes landfall. And then up here into the Southern Appalachians, into Southwestern North Carolina, upstate South Carolina, Northeast Georgia, everywhere you see in pink here is that level four out of four risk for uh, we, where we can see catastrophic life-threatening flooding and even landslides up here into the southern Appalachians with as much as 18 inches of rain expected. Michael, those words you are using, catastrophic, life-threatening, yeah. just further showing how important it is to, as you always say, heed the warnings of local officials. We know several evacuation orders are underway at right. this hour. Maybe there's someone at home watching who's saying, you know what, I know I'm in an evacuation area, but I can handle this. I don't need to leave. What words would you share with yeah. them? That you, you don't want to put yourself at risk because by the time you realize you want to leave, it might be too late, especially here in this region in the Florida Panhandle and in the uh, and in the, the storm surge warning area here, the water is going to come up very quickly and going to lead to really unsurvivable conditions near where Helene Center makes landfall because it's not just going to be the surge 15 to 20 feet of water but it's going to be destructive wave action on top of that, which has the potential to destroy homes, wash cars away, cut off evacuation routes very quickly. You know, we saw in Hurricane Michael in Mexico Beach, many people lost their lives because they chose to stay and they tried to get out. People died in their cars trying to evacuate, but it was too late. So don't put yourself or your family at risk in those, in those uh, areas. If you've been asked to leave, please just go to a shelter. Uh, every county has shelters. Your local officials will tell you where to go. You don't have to drive 100 miles to get to a safe place. Just get somewhere out of that storm surge evacuation zone to uh, make sure you save your life. Wise words there, Michael Brennan. Always a pleasure to speak with you. Is there anything else you'd like Thanks. to add before we let you go? I know this time yesterday when I was speaking with Jamie, it was expected to hit as a Category 3, but now intensifying to potentially hit as a Category 4. Yeah, I mean, and then we don't want people to get too hung up on the exact intensity at landfall. The impacts are coming with such a big storm. We're going to have that substantial life-threatening storm surge across much of the Florida West Coast. Those winds are coming inland. One th reminder is post-storm safety. We're going to have widespread power outages through much of this hurricane warning area. People may be using generators after the event. Want to make sure they use them properly. Don't succumb to carbon monoxide poisoning. We tend to lose a lot of people after the storm to accidents, carbon monoxide poisonings, other post-storm fatalities in the aftermath of these significant hurricane landfall. So don't become a statistic after the event. Please be safe. Michael Brennan, always a pleasure. Thank you so much for taking out of the time. Your busy schedule, I can only imagine all the different directions you're being pulled into this morning, <laughs> but we appreciate your expertise and perspective on this topic. You be safe as you work to keep us informed.
Thank you. Giving you another live look at our XRAD system here at 726 on the East Coast. And wise words there from expert Michael Brennan. Uh, heed the warnings from local officials and do not take this system lightly. Make sure you have a plan ahead of landfall, which will happen uh, later this evening. So just hours away from that event.